Yo guys, what's up? Jesse here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to render any video in 4K with no quality loss. I know that a lot of you guys' render settings are butt cheeks, so today I'm going to fix that. Hit the sub button if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. Share this video to your friends. And yeah, let's get right into the video. So I have my edit here. It's an AE. It's only like 1080p, I'm pretty sure. I'll check my comp right now. Yeah, 1920 by 1080. 24 FPS. And yeah, I just want to render this out in 4k with good quality settings so so what you guys want to do first is select your render bracket you can use the keys b and n on your keyboard to uh select how much of the edit you want to render and then from there what you want to do is go into composition add to render queue click this output module right here make sure it's on avi click resize right here and then what you want to do is change this to 3840 by 2160 and then from there, what you want to do is go to format options. Now I'm going to have the Lagrith video codec in the description, so you can feel free to go download that. What you want to do is click this and then choose Lagrith lossless codec. And then click OK, click OK. And then what you want to do is render this out to a drive that you have a lot of space in. So I'm going to be rendering it to this bum squad drive right here that I have. Click save and then start your render queue. Now something I'd like to point out right now is that your video is going to be a very large size when it renders out. So maybe this small video is going to be something like three gigabytes, maybe. So yeah, be aware of that. We're also going to be compressing it using XFID codec, which you can get in the description right now if you haven't. And also we're going to be using virtual dub to compress our video. So you should download that too while you're waiting for this. So yeah, now our edit's done rendering. Uh, what we can do is go ahead and open virtual dub now and then also open our drive where we save the edit in, which is right here. And what we want to do is drag this into your virtual dub just like that now if you slide across the bottom right here you'll see that the edit made it into virtual dub and in here you can change your zoom settings so like right click and click 25 percent if you want so you can see the whole thing and from there what you guys want to do is press ctrl p and then that's going to open your codecs and then you can click xvid mpeg-4 codec click that click ok and then from there you can do ctrl r if you're rendering out a 24 fps video you can go ahead and click convert to fps and put it to 48 so it uh has good quality on YouTube because YouTube's compression is ass. And yeah, that's all we have to do in here. So we can click OK now. And then from there, click F7 and then save your edit to wherever you want it. So I'm just going to call this edit compressed. And then click save. Now it's going to start rendering. And then right here, you can change your process thread priority to highest. And then now all you have to do is wait. Now when the edit's done rendering, the panel on the right side will close. That's fine. Just uh, exit out of virtual dub and then now you have an edit that's ready to play. So we're going to play it right now and make sure everything went smoothly. Now that was a bit laggy, but that's because this movies and TV app sucks to play AVIs. So I already know it's fine because I could hear the audio. If I really wanted to see it in detail, I could open with Windows Media Player. It might show it a bit better. So you can check that out. So yeah, that looks good quality. Now you can stay away from those butt cheek render settings that you probably got off of Google. And yeah, that's it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one.